Hi everyone, Una Rocks here. Welcome back to more Arthur Reviews. We are now doing this next character, Muffy Crosswire. Let's begin. Mary Alice Muffy Crosswire is a third grader in Mr. Rappern's class at Lakewood Elementary. She is the richest school or the, the richest girl in Elwood City and lives in an enormous mansion. Muffy entered Lakewood in second grade when she met Arthur and his friends and quickly became best friends with Francine. She is often labeled as a snobbish and spoiled because of her wealth, attitude, and frequent selfishness makes up for it in most cases. <clears throat> Physical appearance. Oh wait, I forgot to read her um her thing. She is eight years old. She's in third grade. She's a female. She's a monkey. Her birthday is 25th of the month with 31 days and May 25th in the books only. So her birthday is also May 25th like Arthur's is. So next Monday is her birthday. Her, her eye color is green. Her hair color is light brown, season 1 to 5, 4 to 15, auburn, season 6 to 13, and red, season 16 to the present. Her complexion is yellow. Her favorite color is mauve, I think. Residence, Muffy's House in Elwood City. Her family, Mary Alice Miller, great-great-grandmother. Edsley Crosswire, great-grandfather. Taffy Crosswire, great-grandmother. Olga Crump, great-aunt. Edward M. Crosswire, grandfather. Ed Crosswire, father. Millicent Crosswire, mother. Chip Crosswire, older brother. Unnamed cousin. Unnamed cousin in law and Muffy's grandmother. She made her first appearance in Arthur and the True Francine in the book and in the cartoon Arthur's Eyes and she is voiced by Melissa Altro. Let's begin. Physical appearance. Muffy is a medium skinned anthropomorphic monkey. In the first season she was rendered with buck teeth but they seem to have disappeared in the later episodes. Her usual outfit is a purple puffy sleeveless knee length dress with a lavender fabric belt over a long sleeved white blouse. Finished with knee high white socks with brown Mary Jane shoes. Muffy's hairstyle consists of two chest length auburn braids tied with a pair of matching purple bows. She is seen with this hairstyle in most of the episodes, but sometimes changes the style, especially for formal events. From seasons 1 to 15, her pajamas consist of a purple and white nightgown under a lavender robe and pink slippers. Starting with season 16, her nightgown changes from purple to light pink and she doesn't wear her robe anymore. Her swimsuit consists of a purple malleot with an orange stripe. On formal occasions, she wears a white t-shirt, a red dress with suspenders, and brown loafers. She wears this outfit with her pigtails. In the summertime, Muffy wears a lavender t-shirt with a white collar, a green skirt with two pink stripes that are horizontal and vertical, and wears green slip-on shoes with pink soles and a pink flower on each shoe. In Bitsy's breakup, Muffy wears a purple shirt and purple pants, but her double braids are changed to her ponytail. However, she still wears it in later episode seasons until season 14. In DW Blows the Whistle, Muffy wears an orange racing suit with a blue stripe, a white helmet, and orange sneakers. In Muffy's Art Attack, Muffy wears the first outfit that consists of a green and purple striped bodysuit, a purple puffy dress with green and purple pockets on the front, and black Mary Jane shoes. She wore this with her double braids and her pigtails. Muffy wears the second outfit that consists of a blue collar shirt that has sleeves being rolled up above her el elbows, white overalls and brown dress shoes with brown laces. Muffy wears the third one consists of a yellow shirt, a salmon jacket over her shirt, a blue puffy skirt, blue tights, and black Mary Jane shoes. However, she still wears the second and third outfits in later seasons until season 14. If Prunella gets it twice, Muffy wears her first outfit, but it has several color changes with her bodysuit having blue and yellow stripes. Her dress being red and her shoes being brown. The only hairstyle she can have with her first outfit with an alternative color sheen is her pigtails. And how the cookie crumbles, Muffy's third outfit is a originally a blue dress and a white jacket over her dress. In Matchmaker Matchbreaker, Muffy wears a purple version of the third outfit, but the shirt is still yellow. In other media. In the Living Books computer games, Muffy had a brown complexion, dark brown hair, and buck teeth in Arthur's teaser to trouble. She subsequently had her complexion changed to pale, her hair color changed to light brown, and her buck teeth removed in Arthur's birthday. It was likely due to color and tone restrictions during the 16 bert era of computers and software. Her vocal tone was a bit deeper, as she was voiced by Janice to Michael Rogers before the TV show replaced her with Melissa Altro. In the later games, such as Arthur's Thinking Games, during the 32-bit era of computers and software, her appearance was the same as she looks in the TV show. Alternative Hairstyles Throughout the series, Muffy has many alternative hairstyles. She gets her hair done for many occasions, and her favorite place to go hairdressing is the Salon de Beauty. Some of the episodes she has seen with different hairstyles include Francine's Bad Hair Day, Muffy's Art Attack, Lights, Camera, Opera, The Lousy Week, Don't Ask Muffy, The Election, and No Acting, Please. 
personality. Muffy often has a lack of empathy for everything and believes that money, Bailey, and her father can fix any problem. However, in some fields, Muffy is good at giving advice on things like fashion or love. She is usually the first one to catch on a fad or a trend. Like Arthur, she is eight years old and is in the third grade, but in contrast, she is fashionable, talkative, melodramatic, stubborn, cute, beautiful, and very wealthy. Despite her cuteness and beauty, she is often labeled a snob and spoiled because of her wealth, condescending attitude, and frequent selfishness, as shown particularly in the episode Spoiled Rotten. However, Muffy can be quite mature at times. Muffy is also shown to be quite popular, as shown by many parties she hosts. Like her father, Muffy is also good at doing business with people. Despite all of that, Muffy has a knack for being friendly, cares a lot about her friends, loves to hang out with them, and they usually have wonderful friendship. That is especially true in the later episodes, where she is all smiles. Muffy's spoiled home lifestyle has left her somewhat naive when it comes to certain basics of domestic life. She, for example, did not know how to wash dishes by hand in a sink, believing that she could get the job done simply by squirting some dishwashing liquid on a pile of dirty dishes sitting in the sink. The Great McGrady. When Muffy was younger, her personality was slightly more aggressive. She wanted to be friends with Francine, yet have Francine take the blame for cheating during a test. In another episode, she stood up for Francine by telling Buster not to pick on Francine because it is not Francine's fault for the friends keys to be in depth. She was willing to stand up to Binky even after she accused Binky of stealing Francine's bicycle. Muffy was also fed up with Francine's insults and challenged Francine to be calm for an entire week. Muffy lost her patience while tutoring Buster and flunked him. Muffy is proven to be brave enough to stand up to Molly, no matter how tough and old she and the rest of her fellow tough customers are, as shown in the Law of the Jungle Gym. She can also be manipulative and can be forceful, and often shows herself as a fair-weather friend. One such example is seen in the episode The Director's Cut, when she takes over the making of George's movie and encourages the crew to change things without George's approval and always held the fact he was borrowing her camera to make the movie in the first place until George finally puts his foot down. There are also some times where she refuses to take responsibility for things that were entirely her fault. As this was the case, she lied about not having headlights to Francine in, in the lousy week, and as a result, she managed to infect the entire school. Relationships. Family. Despite having a huge mansion, Muffy's family is quite small. She lived with her father, Ed Crosswire, her mother, Millicent Crosswire, and her butler, Bailey. Like D.W., she refers to her parents as Mommy and Daddy. She also encourages called... She also originally called her mo mom as Mumsy. Muffy has an older brother named Chip, who was first referred to in Arthur's Perfect Christmas, but did not appear until Matchmaker Matchbreaker. She has many privileges and freedoms, endless rooms, unlike, and endless rooms filled with toys, and her own clubhouse. She has eaten Hayas and Purr for ice cream while reading the Scare Your Pants Off Club books and got nightmares. There is a lack of communication with her parents as a result. They suspected that the books give her nightmares and formed a protest to ban the books before realizing that Muffy never objected to the books. Despite the books being banned from Elwood City Public Library, Muffy kept her collection in secret until meeting the author. Ed also did not fully understand Muffy's disruption at another meeting with Mrs. McWord during the fright stuff. While legitimately scolding her and her peers because they were pranking each other, he dismissed the possibility of Castle Manor being haunted. Muffy has been even more art aristocratic compared to her parents, who assumed she was from a royal family. Her parents said that she are just plain folks. She is the only the fourth generation of entrepreneurs and advised her to visit their Aunt Olga Crump. Friends Francine Frensky, Muffy's best friend, though they are different in numerous ways, they always manage to find something to do together. Such as in the episode Muffy's New Best Friend, the girls met when Muffy moved to Lakewood when they were both in second grade. They got to know each other better when they found out they had the same middle name, Alice. Despite their frequent arguments, the girls do truly value each other's friendship and care each about each other deeply. This can be seen in the episode Vomitrocious, where Muffy showed genuine concern over Francine's well-being and health. Fern Walters. Muffy and Fern did not frequently do things together in the earlier episodes, excepting Muffy's sleepovers. One episode, however, that Muffy and Fern got along is Phony Fern, where they are seen hanging out with each other by watching a movie and talking to each other on the phone. Muffy insisted that Fern solve a mystery and appeared to be upset with Fern because Fern was protecting the brain and Francine. However, Muffy only acted angry so that Fern would comfort them. When she did, Muffy followed Fern, thus finding the pranksters. Prunella Deegan. Muffy and Prunella are seen together when they shop and have sleepovers and when there is an event at school or anything formal. In Sue Ellen Moves In, it is mentioned by Arthur that Muffy did not immediately talk, take to 
Prunella, befriending her only after a period of dislike. Arthur Reed. Muffy and Arthur are great friends. They both have the same birthday, May 25th, which is next week. Arthur tends to get annoyed when Francine talks about shopping and playing with her Polly action figures, but despite all that, they are still great th friends. Buster Baxter. Muffy and Buster are good friends. Muffy is usually disgusted of Buster's unhealthy eating habits, such as expired food or food that was dropped on the floor. Like Arthur, he also tends to get annoyed when Muffy talks about shopping and how popular she is. But despite that, they are still good friends. And Muffy gets mature. Muffy imagines kissing each other. And then she turns into a frog and says, Ew. Kaylee Lamont. Kaylee is a girl that Muffy met when she was staying at a shelter for residents of Elwood City that were displaced by Hurricane Sadie. Muffy was initially appalled at at the idea of staying at a shelter, which only happened when there was a mistake with her family's reservation. At a four-star hotel when they were unable to find each other's lodgings, Kaylee gave Muffy advice on how to find the best snacks at the shelter and how to block out the sounds of snoring. The two quickly became friends and played together. Muffy was shocked when she learned that Kaylee's home had been almost completely destroyed by the storm and offered her and her mother a room at the Crosswire State. The two had already made the decision to move in with Kaylee's uncle in Florida, but before they left, Muffy and Kaylee spent time together in the repaired ice cream shop. Jenna Morgan, the two play with action figures together. George Lundgren. In the trouble of trophies, Muffy's relationship with George seemed to have grown. They agreed to work together to try to give Firm a trophy. Muffy wasn't exactly friends with George in past episodes, but she is now, however. She made fun of him in Vomitrocious, and he is often forgotten by the main group of friends. D.W. Reed. Muffy and D.W. are good friends. At one time, she considered D.W. as a possible replacement best friend. They have many things in common. They are picky eaters, have the same toys, both plan on becoming president of the United States, and are sometimes very bossy. Muffy also considers herself a role model worthy of admiration and offered to impress D.W. by eating a bowl of spinach, D.W. the picky eater episode. Muffy is also friends with Brain, Binky, and Sue Allen. She also teamed up with Rattles. Love notes for Muffy. Muffy is also close to her butler, Bailey. She spends much more time with Bailey, who gives her advice, helps her with homework and other projects. And as a result, his work is usually unrecognized. He performs her every order as well. In The Butler Did What, Muffy realized she did not know anything about Bailey and was very hurt when she believed that Bailey had run away. In the conclusion, she shows a considerate facet of herself and vows to learn everything about her butler. Trivia. She has the same birthday as Arthur. Her speaking debut was also in Arthur's eyes, and her first line was, How do you get in trouble with the nurse? Muffy had two front buck teeth from the episode Arthur's Eyes to Arthur's World's Greatest Gleeper. It was also shown in the Scare Your Pants Off Club, but they would disappear in some scenes. Muffy's first hairstyle was seen in Francine's Bad Hair Day. The style was called Prom Queen by her hairdresser. Muffy is one of the few characters on the show with cell phones. Not only does she stand out in her mere possession of a cell phone, but she also has more than one. Its first appearance was in Francine's Bad Hair Day, her second in Fern Firm in The Secret of Moose Mountain, her third in the first part of Phony Fern, and her fourth phone, Portal X360, also in Phony Fern. Every single one has been a flip phone. It has been stated that Muffy takes tap and ballroom dancing classes after school. Muffy's quote, Vomitrocious, first appeared in the book Arthur's Thanksgiving, but became more and more common in the TV show. Muffy has been voiced by Melissa Altro since the first season. Altro is the only voice actor to begin voicing their character as a child and continuing to do so as an adult. She was 13 when she began voicing Muffy. If one listens carefully, one can tell Muffy's voice differs across seasons, sounding a different pitch in the earlier ones. And poor Muffy, she is revealed to be allergic to the odors of new carpets her family was once putting into their mansion, but began removing when they learned about her allergies. During formal occasions, she sometimes has her frontal hair cut into bangs. She is the substitute and relatively unskilled goalkeeper for the Lakewood Elementary soccer team, as seen in Muffy's shocker, Soccer Shocker. Also for the Lakewood Elementary soccer team, she is their cheerleader. Muffy is somewhat spoiled. In My Club Rules, she kicks Francine out of her club for not showing up on one day because she was sick. She is accused of being spoiled and spoiled rotten. Her dad likes to refer to her as Muffin. Her character, as created by Mark Brown, is based on his sister Bonnie's best friend when she was growing up. In the Scare Your Pants Off Club, it is revealed that eating has some for ice cream gives her nightmares. It is suggested in Arthur in the Haunted Treehouse that Muffy does not like chewing gum. In Sue Ellen in the last page, Muffy mentions to Sue Ellen that she was the first person in her class to get a library card. She does not like the vegetable squash. Muffy is a picky eater like DW and as well as both bossy. 
Muffy is voiced by Melissa Altra, who also voices Pippi Longstocking. Future. In the contest, Muffy is still friends with her companions in five years. In the election, Muffy appears to be, have become president, but it could simply be Muffy's dream, not reality. It is revealed in Muffy's Soccer Shocker that in a possible future, as well after the events depicted in normal episodes, Muffy will have a son who takes after her. And Arthur rides the bandwagon. Arthur has a nightmare in which he sees a long-haired Muffy with what appeared to be twin daughters. All right, I believe that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.